Hey everybody, welcome to the video. Uh, in this one, we're gonna look at the Air Force One Ardress V8 Tilt and Swivel Stud Bipod, okay? From a shooting party, all right? Let's check it out. Alrighty, so uh, before we get into that, um, just want to say a big shout out to those of you up at the British Shooting Show. I personally had a good few hours up there. It's only a 50 minute drive from where I live up to Birmingham, the NEC for me. So it wasn't too far to go. Um, I thought it was well organized, yeah. People are minding now to pay for parking, but that's all to do with the NEC and I'm not gonna get into politics of that. Um, but I didn't mind, um, I had a good time. I like to give a couple of shouts out to a few people though. Even though I have a very modest, just over 300 subs, a couple of people actually came up to me whilst I was having lunch and said hi. So in my ignorance and my shock and surprise, I forgot to ask you who you were. So if you see the video, just, you know, thanks very much. Um, that was quite odd. That's all I can say, but uh, yeah, very glad you like the vids, all right? Yes, it is you, me off YouTube, all right? Um, also, I'd like to say a big thank you to Mr. AAR, and I was gonna come and see you um, and shake you by the hand, sir. And there's a reason for this. One, you're an absolute legend, um, and I can only aspire to my channel to grow like that. Two, after a long break from air gunning and watch loads of your videos, I got back into air gunning because of your videos. And I also brought an R10 based on one of your videos. Um, I missed you. Um, I wanted to show you by the hand. That was a whole reason really for, one of the reasons I wanted to go to the BSA stand. Um, and just say thanks for that really and just keep up the good work with the vids. Uh, so I'll be love out to you. Um, guys at the air gun factory, man, you, you know, those shirts, those um, hoodies of yours look rather cool, didn't they? And I said so on a comment on Facebook. Um, I'm probably gonna have to get me one of those, I think. Uh, quite like those, as long as they come in a 2XL to 3XL, that's all well and good. Yeah, I like, like to see them in person. Um, you're actually talking to somebody from BSA at the time. Uh, I didn't want to interrupt, but I, I would have come and said hi. Um, I had loads of things to do, I was running backwards and forwards, because I also like to say a big thank you to Mr. Campbell, uh, nice to meet you in person, bud. Yeah, albeit or very briefly, you were really busy on the shooting range, but nice to shake you by the hand and actually meet you. So cheers, buddy, for all your help and what have you and everything you do on the Air Gun Factory as well, as long with all the other moderators. Right, that's all I love. It's down to business, shall we? Bipod time. All right, go. So um, I hate to start this on a bit of a negative, but there, there is a bit of a negative, okay? When I put it on, the two pronged bits, if I show you on this one, the two pronged bits here, they go into and fit onto the stud itself. And it's the same on both. Um, I had to retrieve them. This, this bit on the Air Force One doesn't seem to be as solid and fit well um, for some reason. This one just, on that one, it moves up and down and I had to fiddle with it and it was a bit of a fiddle, not a faff to get it on. Now it's on, it, it fits fairly solidly. Um, that's really the only big gripe I've got with it. Guys, um, shooting party, look, if I've done something wrong here and I haven't mounted it right or I don't think I've broken it, or there's a part missing, and I don't think there is. I've looked on expanded photos online and everything all seems to be there. Um, give me a shout, yeah? Um, you, you know, I'm reviewing one of your bits of stuff, yeah? Please write to reply and all that, and if I've cocked it up, tell me I've cocked it up, yeah? I've got big shoulders, I can take it. Right, oh, so on to the review then. It does exactly what it says on the tin, doesn't it? It holds the rifle off the stud, yeah? Um, Good feature about this one though, it's got a two-pronged attack, ha <laughs> ha, excuse the pun, but it has. So you see this little thing here, if you push that, it goes into the forward position like so. So when it's actually folded up 
facing forward on the rifle, it's got two parts of adjustment. Comes forward there, so you can have the more tactical version, all right? Uh, and it sits nice and solid, it, it, you know, holds the gun fairly well. Um, nice and solid on the bipod there. And also push them back with a nice satisfying click. Um, they come back into the standard 90 degree position there, okay? It is a tilt and swivel. So underneath, got a little turn wheel here. You undo the turn wheel slightly and it swivels on the mount like so. And it tilts also a little bit of cant adjustment if you like the rifle to sort of float a little bit more freely whilst it's in the shoulder. All right, personally, I like these ones quite tight when I do mine. Don't like them to tilt and swivel too much. I like a little bit, but not enough, but it does adjust. And you can do a little bit. Um, I suppose I've got a, another little gripe, and I've got to be fair, haven't I? Because, you know, it's, it's, it's warts and all, and you, know, you can't, you know, can't just go with the good and go with the bad. Um, if we look here, along that line there, and it might be just because on the Ultra CLX the stock is quite narrow. There's a little bit of movement there, and that's done up as tight as I can. And the only thing I can put it down to is on the Deban, the padding's really chunky and quite thick. Um, you know, that's a good five millimeters, and that is two at best. Um, I've got a fix here, and this will fix it, and I know it will, and I will come back to you with the fix with a short, all right? I've got some long 3M sticky pads that are a couple of mil thick. I'm gonna lay them in there, one either side, just like on the other one, and I'm pretty sure that's gonna fix it. That's the only real two gripes, it's a bit, it was a bit fiddly there to start with, um, and the padding there. Other than that, it's a very solidly built bit of kit. Now, to adjust the height, the collars, pull the collar down and extend, really easy. And they go in with a satisfying click, like so. So you can go quite high. This is the six inch to nine inch version, all right? Um, so it goes up really quite high. For those of you who really want it on high up in the air, you yeah. um, know? I personally only go up one click, just personal preference really. Um, it's not sprung loaded, um, so, on this one, everything is sprung loaded. So you feel resistance with every little turn. This one's not sprung loaded. Um, even on these, they're not sprung loaded when they pop out. But th th that's not to say that they don't do the job perfectly well. Um, it does exactly what it says on the tin. It comes with an Allen key, so you can adjust the legs there or take them off. All right, I'll pop them on and off. Um, I paid show price for it. So I think it was just under the 40. Um, these retail for 49.99 or 55 quid, round it up, eh? Um, what is it, 30, 40 quid cheaper than the other type? Does it justify the price tag? Probably, yeah, I, I, I would think so. Um, it's a solidly built piece of kit. Um, it's made of fairly good high grade aluminium. It feels solidly built all by that little fiddly bit when I put it on. Um, and not enough padding, I don't think, for the stock. That's just my personal opinion. That's it, okay? So, did I get show fever and just go, hey, good prize, bye, bye, bye. No, not really. Um, will I get another Deven? Mm, twist my arm, yeah, probably, because I just, 
I've had them for years and they're kind of my favourite. Am I going to use this one though? For a bit? Yeah, of course I am. I'm going to use it um, and see how it goes. And I will do a short, I'll let you know how like, a little padding fix uh, where the stock meets the, the bipod itself. Um, see if I'll let you know if that works as well. Guys, uh, over at a shooting party, um, get in touch, yeah, if you know, if, if there's anything I can do differently to make it work better. Other than that, it's, it's an okay job. It, it does the job really well. Um, does what I want it to do. It's on the cheaper side, so, you know, expect what you pay for, really, but it does 55 quid of the chop, doesn't it? So that's it. Um, that's my little shout out to British Shooting Show and my review of the Air Force One V8 Tilt and Swivel Stud Bipod. Guys, if you like the video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more, do subscribe. I really do appreciate it. And for the two of you who said hi, um, it was weird and sorry for my shock and horror. I was halfway through a burger at the time. Um, thank you very much. I'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye.